When considering the yield potential of your oilseed rape crop, we need to look at two things predominantly when we get to the stage of the season. One is the potential canopy structure of the crop and how it's been managed up to now with the seed rate and everything involved and then look at potentially at the at the rooting structure as to how this crop may or be able to feed itself in the uh, coming two or three months before harvest because that is obviously where the yield potential is coming from. Standing in this crop here we've got a very strong strong canopy but and actually when you look down other than the few other than the few the pods that are formed on the top when you start looking into the bottom of the pot, pot, crop there aren't as many aren't as many pods and this can be seen with this example here for instance so we've got a very strong top pod canopy here with options beginning to come on some of the lower leaves where we've got an open plant but unfortunately the rooting structure isn't quite as strong as we possibly would like due to the fact that it was uh, sown in a, in a ploughed situation without uh, without subsoiling. In uh, other parts of the country where crops are set, established on subsoiling, we've got roots that go another six inches deeper and we've got a capability of a taproot feeding a good strong plant further up. Um, the, another example where we've got compaction at a lower level where the roots aren't going to be in a position perhaps to feed the crop to the degree that we want to. Um, what we really need to think about is before we drill it as to what is the subsoil preparation and how we're going to make sure that the plants are able to feed themselves and bring the crop through to a satisfactory yield of five tonne a hectare which should be the aim anywhere. It's <coughs> not a bad structured plant. A, mu a much better structured plant that's uh, obviously been drilled from, a, from an area of lower plant population and you can see how we've got on each of these sub branches many flower buds preparing and so there will be a good canopy structure right from the top to the, to the, to the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and again on this smaller plant it's the same type of thing. If you look into the, into the, into the flower buds there's, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of potential in that one. Whereas on the stronger one, you know, they're all, it's all in the, in the top. Um, what you'll end up with is light refraction off the top, pods filled adequately at the top of the crop, but not the light penetration to get into the bottom mm -hmm. to be able to uh, maximise the yield potential of the crop. However, at the moment this looks a very, but a crop with quite a bit of potential, although it may not actually get to the yield that we're hoping, although given that it's a virgin crop situation, it does have um, uh, quite a lot of potential than what we have in, in perhaps longer uh, cropping rotations, or more intensive cropping rotations. Yeah. So this is, this, is our, this is our toga. This is our toga. And then we've got um, Rascal, which is a conventional, which is quite a bit shorter. So and it's... Yeah. And uh, it's slightly thinner as well. But looking down into the crop, you can actually see the flower buds go right to the bottom. Go right to the bottom, and the yeah. potential to produce. So you've got a, a thicker canopy, potentially. And, and, and actually produce bigger seeds in the bottom of the canopy. Yeah. So instead of having a, a narrow band of pods in the top, you'll have a much deeper. So you, basically, your potting zone will go from here, like it will be on the top of that crop, to something like that in this crop. So your yeah. yield potential is probably increased by 50%. Right. And it's the same with the, the Amelia on the other side there. That's right. Well, I think, I mean, f for this part of the world, right coast, right on the side of the cliffs at the uh, North Corn Coast, considering the, the wet weather we've had, it's not it's looking, looking too bad. Good. Yes. It's not looking too bad at all. Uh, there's definitely worse crops out there that I've seen.